What do you want us to talk about? <laughs> Ask him about the bike. Come on, Pat. You know what to do. Uh, well, how long do you want to stay around and look at it before we break into conversation? Uh, <laughs> Pat, don't you have any questions for DP yeah, on some of these motorcycles? Yeah, I'm looking at some of these. This front brake set up. Like I'm thinking back in the day, what, what year did you build this? I built this bike here in 1977, 78. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, when I built this bike um, in 1978, Holly Davidson did their first bike show in Daytona. Mm -hmm. And everybody was all excited about it. I had a little front section sports to, that, uh, you know, a nest digger style that I had put in the show. But Alan built, put one of his badass bikes in the show. And so naturally, Alan won the show, and he won this beautiful bronze uh, sculpture, mm -hmm. right, of, of a bike. It was really cool. Well, the following year in '79, I had this bike here in there, and Alan didn't really have—I don't think he had one in there. And anyway, so I won the show in 1979, and I got this really cool belt buckle that I still have. It has the year on the back, 1979, but I want a, uh, a Holly Davidson leather jacket. So nice. I want a leather jacket. He won the bronze sculpture. You know nice. what I mean? Well, hold on. I want to do the math really quick. 1979. Yeah. yeah. I would have been, let's see. Think about it now. Yeah, shoot. Hold on. What year were you born? 73. Okay. So I would have been six. Yeah, you would have been six so years old. So how old would you have been? Uh, in 79, um, I would have been 29. 29 Dave Perowitz. I bet that was a yeah. force to be reckoned with back then. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so, hey, I was going to tell you about that gold bike over there yeah. in the picture. Okay, that's a 1964 Sportster. Mm -hmm. That was my very first bike. Oh, nice. And, you know, when I first got it, you know, I, I did a, uh, that was one of my very first paint jobs. Not that one there, but... I did on the bike. It was a lace job, you yeah. know. And, uh, you know, I rode it to stretch. I rode everywhere around the back then, you know. And we all rode sportsters. Everybody rode sportsters around here. And so I was in Laconia. So I did it over the following year. And it was much cooler. You know, I painted it with a cobweb paint job. Candy red with a cobweb paint job. All this shit, right? What, so you painted it again? Or? Yeah, again. Okay. Yeah, second time. So you were time. stepping it up. You kept I was stepping it up, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Back then... You know, you just kept on redoing the redoing same bike. Redoing your bike, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was coming home from Laconia, and I'm riding along, and I see in my mirror this chopper way off in the distance coming, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, this is right out of California, you know, one of these jobs. Yeah. And uh, so I'm watching the guy. He's getting closer and closer. He gets up next to me, right? And this is the coolest chopper. It's like baby blue and the guy is like this this cool dude right <laughs> and i said man that's me yeah. next year that's going to be that's me. how i'm going to roll next year yeah yeah and that's when i built that bike nice that's where yeah. you put those yeah. cars on it and got yeah. it. it was a 19 over mother's springer uh-huh uh 17 inch front wheel you know no brake uh old shitty drum brake on the back <laughs> You know, I made the sissy bar. Uh -huh. uh, we cut the frame up. We welded a hardtail on it. Uh, cut the neck off. We stretched the neck 12 inches. Added, you know, 42 degrees of rake or some crazy thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I, I rode that bike for a year. And I mean, I rode the hell out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I sold it. And man, when I sold it, I was I was rich. Nice. Right? What would you get out of it? 2400 Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Boy, that was it, man. <laughs> I didn't have to work for three months. Yeah, right? 2400 bucks. Yeah. So that was a cool story on that one. Mm -hmm. That was... Uh, so this bike here, 79? Yeah. This is a uh, 79. No, I mean, this, when you build it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 79. Yeah. So I'm picturing you in 79 building this bike. Yeah. Um, like, I'm sure you didn't have some big, crazy CNC oh, no. fab no, not, shop brake. No. So, like, I'm looking at these front brakes. Yeah. You know, which are really cool. Yeah. Single piston setups that you guys obviously turn them into dual piston and yeah. quad pistons to yeah. stop this rig. Yeah. But one thing that's really intricate that's catching my eye is this T up here underneath 
the triple tree, and I'm sure you didn't buy that anywhere. No, this was a piece of and half inch. I'm really interested on how you drilled or made this thing. That was a piece of half inch square stock. Mm -hmm. And we drilled it all the way through, and then we bent it, we heated it up, we bent it, and then I welded fittings onto the ends. Okay. And then obviously cleaned it all up. Right, cleaned it all up. And I and see you it. have the brake line through the stem. Yeah, so you have stem. a nipple on the top of that that you yeah. screw that to. Yeah, and then you there's a male the fitting on the top mm -hmm. that, that just attaches to it. Hmm. Yeah. And this, like these brake lines, I mean, these were like, you know, to get these oh, brake lines back then, yeah. you, uh, you know, dash three. Uh, that was some NASA stuff back then. Yeah, this stuff here was, uh, man, you had to go to a special truck shop, you know, a, a place that made brake lines for trucks oh, yeah. and all that. Well, yeah, they look pretty Yeah. pickup truck-like, really. Yeah, and then we welded these bungs onto this fork. Mm -hmm. These are all welded on. And, for those uh, custom brackets. Yeah, and my friend worked in a machine shop, so he made these trees for me, mm -hmm. and he made these carriers. These are all handmade. You know, I bought the rotors, but we made those carriers. So what was this gold on here? Was Is that a powder coat? Or no, no, that? those were actually gold-plated. Gold-plated. Yeah, all this the engine is all gold-plated, but, you know, of course, over the years, it just... Oh, yeah. Where did you send stuff like that back then? To get a local chrome shop. Oh, really? Yeah, right. Back in the day when you could just... Yeah. Somebody was always chroming, and you'd get motorcycle parts chrome. Yeah, exactly, right? like this headlight. You know, it looked like... Those legs looked like that, mm -hmm. you know, in the beginning, you know, and then... Uh, um, you know, I got actually the frame, the gas tank, the rear fender, all came from Holland. Um, and, uh, you know, we set it all up, mounted it all, and, uh, you know, it's a Magnuson supercharger. And, uh, now, did you, know, you ride this bike much, or did it ever well, get the really idea, fired up? Well, the, the thing is, back then, as long as it ran... Yeah. You could ride it in and out of a show. Yeah, for sure. That's all it was concerned. So yeah. We so did. you uh, it rode that it drove that much. You yeah. were able to fire it up and roll it in and out of the show. Yeah. And... I mean it's kick start, so I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, you'd probably have to prime the carburetor, uh, make sure there was there was uh, gas in the flow pole. Yeah. But there's a downdraft weather, so uh, So she was probably a little tricky to get yeah. kick started. Yeah. But it did run. Uh, it did drive in and out of shows. I have to tell you, it was one of the most uncomfortable bikes you ever rode. Yeah. <laughs> your Definitely right, cool your right leg was way out like yeah. this to get around that super Oh yeah, that's, that's true. Just trying to get in there around there. Yeah. But back in the day, man, this was the cool deal. Oh yeah, I bet. Hmm. Well, very cool. Yeah, this has been in a lot of magazines and different things. You know, as you can see, it's on my, this calendar. Michael Lichter shot it uh, for this new calendar. Okay. And boy, he sure did a nice job photographing it, didn't he? Oh, he's amazing. Yeah. Is it on the covers? No, it, it isn't, isn't on, on every cover. You no, know, it isn't on any there. of these covers. Um, here's this one here. That's this bike. That was that was okay. an easy ride of cover. Actually, this bike was on the cover of four different magazines. So you made, did this one in the 90s? I, I did that one in 88. 88. And um, let me see, where's the... I don't know if the feature is still in here. I think we might have taken it out. Yeah, I think it's... I think... I think but th this bike had a... Uh, this bike had a four-page fold-out, too. Remember when they used to do the fold-outs? Oh, yeah. That's when you were real cool, if you got the cover and the fold-out. Yeah, oh yeah. So what's up with this bike? You told me you bought this one back and repainted it, and that's the original gas tank over there. Yeah, that bike there, that was a really cool bike. I always loved that bike. I sold it in 1979, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I bought it back about five years ago, all in pieces. A guy called me and said, hey, I got this Ironhead Sportster uh, for sale, you know. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, that was yours? No. Hmm. And I said, well, what is it? You know, and he started describing it. And he, and then he said, you know, you, you might have painted it, right? And of course, it's got my name right on it, you yeah. know? And uh, 
So I said, well, I'll come look at it. He, I think he started out, he wanted like three grand for it or something. I said, I'm not interested for three grand. He said, yeah. well, come and look at it, you know? So it was down at Fall River. I went down to Fall River, you know, and, and the guy was kind of a shit bird. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, I didn't really mean that. He was okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, he had a, an old garage yeah. and the pots were all over the place and the frame was missing. Oh. He had everything but the frame. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I said, look, I'll give you 500 bucks for it. Get me the frame and I'll give you another 500. He said, okay. So I bought it and he never came through with the frame. Mm. So, you know, well, I, I got the motor. So you got everything practically but the frame. Yeah, I got everything but the frame. Uh, well, was the gas tank? Because over here's the original gas tank. Yeah, this right? is the original gas tank that was on it. And that, yeah. that one just roached on the inside, so it wasn't really worth putting back on there. You just well, you know, the, the inside wasn't bad, but the whole top of it is all checked. You know, the paint is all checked in here mm -hmm. and stuff. And Oh, yeah, a little faded. Yeah. I mean, that's a, yeah. definitely a nice piece though yeah i mean that's nostalgia i mean mm -hmm. you know so uh you know i wanted the thing to be a hundred percent so you. i just redid the whole paint job in the frame i knew exactly what we did to the frame and uh, you know i redid it exactly the same way as it was i mean that exhaust system was the hardest thing probably took me two years to find that exhaust system Oh, so that's one you didn't fab up? That was just... No, that was a nest. Then. That was a nest, two into one, that he made. And so I finally found one. And I was like, great. I found the front end. I found the exhaust I was looking for. Well, what I didn't know, which was surprising, because I knew everything about all the stuff Ness was doing. Mm -hmm. He made two exhausts. One for a mag ignition and one for a cone ignition. Mm. This one here was for a cone ignition, so it didn't fit. I feel you. So I had to redo the whole back pipe and then have it all recoiled. Well, yeah, you can kind of see how that right. back pipe kind of comes out right. off the uh, pipe yeah. right there. So what, how do you, you know, you're looking for this pipe yeah. that you needed for a bike you built back in the day. How do you go about looking for it? Yeah. I'm I sure just you don't go on marketplace. It's no, I just look on uh, Chopa Swapa, mm -hmm. and you know I know guys. There's a couple of guys, big pots guys around the country that you can throw a request out. Yeah, and they come start across this stuff, and they know I'm you. looking for it. Yeah, and I got another guy, a friend of mine, that's on it constantly, mm -hmm. and so he called me and said, "Hey, I, I saw this. Uh, so and so has a exhaust you're looking for." So I. <clears throat> checked out you know i checked it out and so i called the guy i said hey listen i want that exhaust nice yeah that's got to be kind of a fun hunt and then when you finally score it makes yeah. you feel pretty good you know and everything else is all the same mm -hmm. so yeah i was pretty happy with the motors all rebuilt um you know I, it's never even been started i've never even put gas in it 